Hi guys, this is my first vlog, so wish me luck. I've been meaning to try out vlogging for quite a while now to see if it's something that really would work for me and if it's something I enjoy doing but I've just been putting it off and the longer I've been putting off getting in front of a camera the more I've actually been getting nervous about it so what I thought was you know I would just push myself this time to get in front and see how that goes the other thing also was I didn't really know what I would talk about when I'm you know doing a vlog so what I thought was I would just pick up a topic that was current and happening in my life right now and see if that helps work it out so today I'm going to be talking about this book slump I've been going through so I haven't been able to read in the last two months just haven't been able to get myself to sit down and focus on words it's don't know it's just been my mind I think my mind is you know haven't been able to get my mind to wrap around words and I don't know why. I did manage to read one book, which, I mean, you couldn't call it reading. Maybe I don't know. But I did do an audio book. And I found that was easier to do because I didn't really have to focus on the words. I just had to listen. So I've been doing a lot of listening to podcasts and stuff. But uh, books have been taking a slight bit of a back seat in the last two months. I'm hoping to catch up because I have a lot of catching up to do. But the good things that have come out of this one is that, you know, because of the book slump, I've landed up doing a lot of TV watching, which, well, depends on how you look at it, good or bad. But I've been choosing and watching stuff. I've been doing a lot of Netflix and Hotstar. And I can tell you, I've been enjoying both of them. Uh, you know, Hotstar the, is pretty good. They're not bad at all. And they have a very different collection from what Netflix is offering. But what the, the one downside I found on Hotstar really is that it doesn't allow me to create some kind of queue or list. So if it's something I saw that I liked and I'd like to watch it again, there's no real way to save that on Hotstar. Netflix lets you do that though. So I have this huge long list that is waiting to be watched on Netflix. I have been watching a lot of TV serials. Uh, I enjoyed Downton Abbey. I enjoyed... Peaky Blinders, which is really good if you're into that kind of drama, you know, some really good drama, a little bit of dark stuff, and the Downton Abbey-ish time, then you'd enjoy Peaky Blinders. It's about a kind of mafia family becoming powerful. Uh, the other thing that I watched is a couple of Pakistani TV dramas, and I really enjoyed Zindagi Gulzar Hai. Didn't enjoy Hamsafar so much, and it is, you know, Pakistani soap operas and TV dramas are so much better than the Indian stuff that you get. Indian TV is just boring, long, drawn out, loud stuff. Here it's actually really nice. The stories tend to be tight. They're moving on. They're not dragging it on. There's not too much sound effects and dishum dishum and all of that happening. You know, considering how how much. You know, we I've watched Hindi serials. You expect stuff to happen every time they tend to stay on a scene for really long. So if you see a guy driving a car in a Hindi serial and he's talking on the phone, there's very likely something going to happen. You know, it's a big moment. That's why they're showing that. So I kept looking at it even here and I realized that no accidents happen. No, nothing really happens. It's just a conversation. So... Those things were really interesting. I really enjoyed watching that. You should check that out. Well, apart from that, um, a couple of other things that I've got that are new is uh, a friend that I met in the Hexa Experience, uh, you know, outing that I went for to, you know, to drive the new Tata Hexa car. I met Ami and Ami got me uh, kicked all over again about eye makeup. I used to be quite excited about it when I used, you know, about 10 years back, but I've kind of had stopped using a lot of it for quite a while. So she kind of got me excited about that. And so what I did was I bought myself a couple of eyeliners and bought a couple of really nice colors. So I have a thing for colors. So I bought a blue and a green. They're really beautiful and bright. And I got the standard black. Now I've got 
the faces uh, collection uh, that's because ami recommended it you should check out ami's uh, work she's not a fashion blogger but she's a travel blogger and she does some amazing trips i'm going to put in a link here just click on uh, you know you could go to her blog it's thrillingtravel.in and check out some of her travels they're really cool follow her on all the various places on instagram and all of that she has some really nice stuff coming out and a big thank you to ami because i quite enjoyed putting on my eye makeup today do you see it it's going to take some practice and i realized that i'm not so good at it i've forgotten what it's like over the years but i'm so excited to keep trying and getting better at it so yeah that's the other thing apart from that in books well i have some books that have still come in and like i said the list is getting longer and longer but the books that i have come in also have me really excited and i'm looking forward to reading them so the first one i have is kavita kane's prince lanka's princess and this is a story of surpanaka now i quite like kavita's writing they you know her characters are mostly feminine and they are very interesting to read uh also because i mean you don't really hear the femin the woman's point of view to a lot of these stories that are such huge mythological stories in india so it's very interesting to read the same stories again from a completely different pers di sorry a completely different perspective okay so yeah i'm looking forward to reading this this is surpanaka story i've read the others i've read menka's choice then there's you know there's a story she has on uh sita sister karna's wife i have the karna's wife pending but i'm looking forward to this one okay the other book that came in uh, oh yeah before that this one came in from rupa so a big thank you to rupa for this copy the other book that i have on my list is sultan of delhi by arnab re now i've met arnab at the indie blogger meet last year uh or other the indie blogger conference that they had and it was really nice meeting him he's a very very witty and an interesting guy so i'm looking forward to reading the sultan of delhi uh i haven't really read any of his books before i have another one on my list too but this is i think going to be the first and this one well it came in from hatchet so thank you hatchet and yeah so that's that now that's kind of it from me for now uh i think i've talked quite a bit already all right see you guys bye bye